A Punta Gorda police officer is on administrative leave after being involved in a fatal shooting during a citizen training exercise. ABC 7's Ray Collins has more on this tragedy and what's being done to prevent something like this from happening in Sarasota. Ray. Yeah, Haley Berry said it's a story making national news headlines and also forcing a new police policy in Punta Gorda. It happened Tuesday night at the Punta Gorda Police Department during a routine presentation. During a shoot, don't shoot role playing program, Officer Lee Cole's gun went off reportedly several times, hitting and killing Mary Knowlton of Punta Gorda. We're all just standing there thinking she's going to stand up in a minute. Knowlton's son said the family is devastated. I was just hysterical, you know, but I knew I had to keep my head, you know, as far as I got to. There's more in me involved here. My dad needs us to be strong. I was so, so sad and, and felt so bad for all the people that were involved because it's a tragic accident. Sarasota Police Chief Bernadette Tapino says they have a similar Citizens Police Academy, but there's no way, she says, a live bullet could ever be used with their so-called airsoft weapons. And it doesn't shoot projectiles like a gun, it shoots pellets. DePino gave us access to the department's simulator room where similar exercises are conducted. Deputy Chief Pat Robinson showed us the compact discs that are used to simulate anything from a verbal confrontation to an active shooter in a movie theater. And he also showed us a picture of the gun they use. So as you can see, it doesn't actually have a clip. It doesn't have an actual barrel, a threaded barrel. So the, the CO2 is loaded from that tank so it doesn't actually project any type of live round. So you couldn't even put a bullet in there if you wanted to. Obviously a huge tragedy for their department, and I'm sure hopefully that there's some lessons learned as it comes, as it moves forward. In fact, lessons have been learned. The Punta Gorda Police Department is changing its policy so real weapons won't be used in training, so a nightmare like this can never happen again. Knowlton's husband was there when it happened. They were married for 55 years. Mary was a librarian in Punta Gorda. They were originally from Minnesota, Haley. Such a tragedy. Yeah. Thank you, Ray.